What's up, Alex? What's up, bro? Ready to go? Another crazy day in the market, mm -hmm. bro. Another crazy day and shit doesn't end, bro. Uh, today's, today's kind of a different day. So, usually we trade, you know, small cap stocks. We trade the scam stocks, uh, stocks in our team, two to $15. But today, we have a large cap stock, Meta, that just got the Destroyed on earnings, dude. Yeah. Destroyed. It's down 23%. Wow. That means that the company lost almost $100 billion in value overnight. This is the lowest the stock has been in the last, I think, six or seven years. The stock closed around $130 yesterday, and it's at $100 today. So to me, this looks, you know how like we look for extended moves on the upside? Right. This looks like an extended move to the downside. So it's pretty much the reverse of what we do. You know, normally we look to short stocks that are extended up, but on this stock, it looks like it's extended down. So I'm gonna try to buy the stock uh, closer to the open. Now, a couple things that we have to know is when a stock is down 10% on the day, it triggers something called SSR, the short sale restriction. And basically what that means is you could only short when the stock is going up you can't short it when it's going down. Right. So what ends up happening is these stocks that are on SSR, they tend to tank at the open and then just rebound. So to me, this stock is extremely extended to the downside. The stock is gonna have SSR at the open and it's right near the $100 psychological mark. So this has all the signals that we need for a potential bounce. Now, it's not going to bounce from 100 to 140. It's not going to bounce from 100 to 120. But it might bounce from 100 to 108, 110. And that's all we need. The market's going to open up here in about 25 minutes. And what I've learned on these large cap bounce setups is don't trade it pre-market because at market open is when all the big money gets involved. And the big money has enough money to push the stock in either direction. So until big money gets involved at the market open, it's just gonna be random. So I'm gonna wait about 25 minutes and pretty much the low of the day is around 98.68. So ideally, it breaks under the low of the day, reclaims, reclaims 100, and then slowly makes its way back up. So that's my plan. My plan is to buy the stock today if it starts to slowly hold up because it's extremely extended to the downside. SSR is gonna come on, it's near $100, and that's, that's what I'm thinking. So Alex, before we get into the nitty gritty and into the stocks, you went from this thing <laughs> shit. to that. How are you feeling about it? I mean, it's pretty unlucky if I'm honest, bro. No, yeah. You should show them the sage I have in my room. Oh, yeah, I we spent did. the other day saging the entire house. <laughs> It's fake news, bro. Oh man, you're gonna have to go back to the the, the poison that goes. I'd rather in this. have poison, bro. I'd rather <laughs> die ten years early and more money. <laughs> How's it looking? Oh, yeah. This is why we have to wait for the open, bro. Because big money might just keep selling it off, or big money might just buy it. I don't know yet, but right now, dude, it's looking really, really bad, dude. But when it looks the worst, it is when the biggest opportunity is there. So market's gonna open up here in four minutes. This was the low, broke the low, and it started to rebound. Now we're getting close to that 100. Okay. So in a perfect world, bro, what we're gonna see is at the open, it's gonna crash again to here, it's gonna hold, and then it's gonna go above 100, hold, and then go above VWAP, hold, and that is a signal that's gonna keep going higher. I just bought some very small 98.60. It's a nice big green candlestick there. Yeah, but it's it could just do a big red candlestick as well. Just because it had a big green candle doesn't mean it can't have a big red candle as well. Right. So this stock is looking weak now, so I might have to sell some of it for a loss. Okay, that's a good signal. I bought some more. So it broke that low, immediately reclaimed. So that's a good signal. Hopefully it doesn't break that low, it should bounce. Okay, and I bought some more. So I have 98.74 average. Hit that low, held, and now slowly going up. So what we want to see, bro, is we want to see it break above this VWAP line now. And if it doesn't, I'm going to set an order to stop out of some at 97. So I set a stop on half of my position at 96.85. So if it breaks this low, I'm going to get out of half. 
But right now, it looks like it's doing exactly what I want. I needed to break that blue line, George. All right, we're bouncing. We cannot let VWAP reject here. The bottom is set, we bought, and if this VWAP line holds, bro, it's off to the races. High of the candle is 99.40, so let's see. Above 99.40, the high of the day is 99.60, and if it breaks 99.60, it'll go to 100, and if it holds 100, it's, it should bounce back. 99.60. There you go. Come on. This looks like it's bouncing, bro. It looks like it has all the signals for a bounce. The same candle that we got here, George. It's doing that same candle here. If it could break that line, dude, if it could break this line above, 99.60s, it should go. Overall market is a little bit weak. So I'm gonna pull up the overall market here. Yeah, most of the big guys move together, right? See, Tesla's going down, you got Amazon going down. Yeah, so because they're all going down, this is going down. 99.60, bro. See how hard yeah, it is? There it is, there it is, there it is. 99.90. 100, come on, break 100. 100, 100, 100. 100 is gonna be a wall of sellers, dude. 100 is gonna be a wall of sellers, but that's psychological. So it needs to break that psychological wall of $100 to shoot up. Right now, exactly at 100, bro. Exactly yeah. at a wall of sellers, exactly. Also, the overall market's now going down, dude. That's not helping. Bro, this stock is down 25%. It has SSR. It should aggressively be bouncing. Right. It should be aggressive, dude. It should be so much buying coming into the stock because down so much. But there isn't. There are just so many people selling it, dude. So Alex, in a stock like Meta where it's like, um, you know, it's a billion dollar company. It's, a, it's, you know, it's got a lot of upside with a lot of the universal things that they're doing. Um, why do we have so many sellers at that 100 mark? Like what's, do they just think it's just, I mean, like, you know, if they don't sell, it just, it just A lot of people, up. bro, a lot of people, they would rather sell it for a loss than wait for the company to like fix itself. You know what I'm saying? So let's say the company's gonna take a couple of years to get fixed, rather than waiting for a couple of years, they'll pull out that cash, they'll pull it somewhere else. Every time it tries to dip, it bounces. Every time it tries to pop, it tanks. Yeah. It's in the middle. The buyers aren't winning, the sellers aren't winning. It's in the middle. Right. It's like a standoff. But hey bro, I got my stop in, and I'm just letting it do its thing. Right. Come on bro, break a hundred, cuz. Okay, okay, there we go. okay. Come on, more. Usually I want stocks to crash, but I don't want them. <laughs> okay, so now next is where's our next resistance? Our next resistance is probably around 150, and then it's gonna be around 170. Okay, 150, got it. Oh wow. See if we get 170. So just to recap the plan that we made before this video, we wanted the lows to hold, we wanted VWAP to hold, we wanted 100 to break. I'm in at a 98.70 average. So everything is falling into place so far. Now remember, this is very extended to the downside, which means that there is potential for this to get extended to the upside. So now that the bounce is confirmed, big money now feels comfortable buying it, in my opinion. Right. So hopefully, big money comes in and takes this thing to the fucking moon. It's looking like a nice play now, cuz. We had a plan. Yeah. We followed the plan. Right. Plan was looking a little sketchy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, plan was looking a little, a little bit sketchy. So 101, bro, again, is a whole dollar mark. Just like 100 was a whole dollar mark. 100, every dollar, 100, 101, 100, right. 103 is gonna be walls. Every dollar is gonna be a wall. We just don't know which wall is gonna send it down. All right, this is not good. The overall, overall market just had a big red candle. Yeah. So that means that Meta's probably gonna have a big red candle. Because the overall market's really weak today, it's making these stocks extremely weak. It's hurting, yeah. So even though the market is tanking, this bounce is holding, that means that the stock is strong. So if a market is tanking and the stock is rebounding, that means that's very strong. So if the market rebounds, it'll rebound even harder. Right. We just need a little bit of a market rebound on our side, bro, to really push this higher. What's the goal when we get out? I want to get out when I see some sort of death candle. When I see like a death candle or some sort of signal, bro, that's when I want to get out. Well, ideally before that, you probably want to get to like 103, 104, and then... 105, 106, 107. <laughs> but the market's really weak right now. Like hardcore selling off. And it sucks because Meta is one of those perfect plans today. You know, it just had a bit huge dip, hasn't been this low in six years, and now, you know, now it just the can't... overall market is ruining the plan. Right, exactly. 
as the market is rebounding, this is rebounding too. So let's see, that 101 is a wall from earlier. Remember, because it's a whole dollar number, so right. it's gonna act as a wall. Okay, 101. 101 broke. Uh-oh. 130. Let's see. So this is resistance that we drew earlier. Right. 101.30. And currently it's at 101.30. Hmm. So this resistance should work. And if it breaks above this, then next one is 102 almost. We're just continuing to draw our lines. We're just continuing to draw the areas where it might give the stock trouble. Every day, Alex, usually it's a uh, go down, go down. <laughs> now, I said, go up, baby, go up. Now it's going up. So it looks like that resistance at 10130 topped it out. So that's why we draw the lines, but we draw the lines to recognize where it's going to top out. Right. Now, as a regular trading tr trader trading this, you know, we're not here, we're, you know, I'm alone. I'm trying, uh, you know, I have meta at, at 98 average, which is great. You know, when do I call it quit? So, just like there's the zombie time for shorts, when stocks tend to rebound after 1030, that same rule applies for long. So, stocks tend to rebound at 1030. So, my thought process is, if this stock doesn't zombie at 1030, then I'll probably get out too. Right. So, I'm looking for either like a death candle, a kill candle, or it not bouncing anymore. Like I'm waiting the same signal that I look for to short a stock. I want to look for the same signal to sell the stock. So most of the time, the zombie rule hurts short buys traders because it makes stocks go up. Right. Now that I'm buying it, I want the zombie rules to help me. So I don't want to see a death candle. I don't want to see a kill candle. I don't want to see a shoot down. I just want to see it slowly, slowly, slowly keep going up and up and up. Extremely Break it through extended to the downside. SSR is on. It's holding 100. It's above BWAP. It's the lowest it's been in six years. This is when bargain hunters are gonna come in and buy the stock. So it looks like this 101 is giving a little bit of sell pressure. It tries to push 101 fail, push 101 fail, push 101 fail. So now it's looking a little bit like maybe we should take some off. Let's see. Should we light some more sage? Yeah. <laughs> I got a couple questions in the chat and uh, one is from Vlad the Trader. Okay. He said, I struggle with not having size in a trade when it's not a nail and bell type of trade. What's your advice on, on that? Okay, so a couple things here is there's two categories of trades, right? There's nail and bail trades and there's trades that you have an edge on. So nail and bail trades, it doesn't matter. He says he doesn't it doesn't really get size on, nail, on the, uh, the normal trades, that's fine. Nail and bell trades, you don't need size anyway. Those types of trades are hit it and quit it. The size trades come from having confidence. To be able to size in on a position, you have to know that it has a very high probability of working, right? And for me, my setup that I know that has the highest probability is the first red day. So unless I see a first red day setup showing up, then I don't feel confident enough to size up. So the first question you should ask yourself is do you have a setup that has a high probability that you've traded 10 times, 90% of the time you make right. money on it. If you don't have that, then number one, you shouldn't be using size. Number two is when that setup shows up, when you have that edge and that setup shows up, that is when you size it. So only size in on the stocks that you have an edge on, only size in on the stocks that you know have a high probability of working, because if not, you're gonna lose money. So if you guys have any other questions for the videos, this is George right here. Yep, right there, active user. So send him a DM if you have any questions that we'll throw into the videos and we'll try to take it from there. We'll, uh, we'll feature a question every week, guys. So uh, yep. feel free to send out your questions, especially the new traders. Uh, I know it's not easy to always talk in the chat when it's moving so fast. A lot of people have the same question, George, and I'm sure that that Vlad the trader had a question that maybe someone else was thinking about. And bro, I've been trading for, I think in February, it's gonna be nine years. Sometimes I forget, bro. I forget the common questions that like people have. The next resistance here is 101 and 80. 101. So we broke through another barrier, huh? So this might be like a, a little bit slower of a push, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's solid right there. I like that. But before the video even started, George, we had the plan. We had the plan not to trade a pre-market. Right. We had the plan to buy the dip. We had the SSR. We had the 100. We had the VWAP. Right. We had every single factor. And now, with the market bouncing, it is amplifying our trade. Now let's draw our next line. Next line is about 102.30. So remember, 102, every whole dollar is a wall. 
So it hit 102 and came down. Right. So every dollar, bro, we have to remember is wall. All right, so stock is now at 102, which is where resistance is. And it looks like it's having some trouble at 102. So you know what, bro? I'm gonna sell 25% of my position. I'm sending an order at 101.98 to sell some. So I have 2,000 shares, I'm gonna sell 500. I'm gonna lock in some profits here. I'm on 96, it's at 96 and my order's at 98. Okay, so now I'm gonna change my order to 94. And instead of selling 500, I'm gonna sell 750 because it looks like it's a little bit weak. So I sold half of my position there. Nice. So I sold half of my position for a $3,200 win and I still have another $3,000 waiting for me. So all in all, it's looking like it's gonna be a $65, $6,600 day. Now what I can do is I can set a stop and say, you know what? If this stock breaks 101, it'll automatically get me out. But now that the bounce is getting more and more aggressive, I think I'm just gonna like slowly sell along the way. I mean, so you could put really two I mean, two orders in, right? You could put a stop order and a fancy order. Correct. And you could kind of almost just let it go. Like, all right, if it breaks 101, then you're gonna sell. If it goes up to like 105, you'll you know you'll sell and you'll make the you know a bunch of profit. Yep. But right now, bro, I made let's see, I made about three dollars and twenty five cents a share, and now it's going even higher. That's unbelievable in this world. Still going up. About to break that 102.50 mark. I'm looks like. Sell some more, George. Uh, as it keeps going up, bro, I'm gonna keep taking profits. I'm trying to sell some more now. I'm not trying to get greedy, bro. I'm taking it along the way. Right. Sold another, I got about 800 shares left. And at this point, bro, I think I'm just gonna say, you know what? Call it, call it a day. Done. Done, right? Done. So Done. It's about a $6,800 day. Hmm. And look at that, bro. We going down. Oh, man. Perfect down, time. Down. Pretty good, dude. That's it. I think that's it, bro. Another green day in the books. <laughs> cool.